Right, so we're just going to keep wiping down, keep a nice clean bench because you don't want any ink or any quick juices or anything on there all over the squid. So once you've got the external skin off, you're just going to open it up and check that there's no little bits of the guts left. So just take your fingers, or if you've got a spoon, and just pull those little bits out like so. It's also a good idea. Put your knife off the knife on the blunt side. Just gently scrape towards the top like that and remove any little bits that are in there. Now, you can keep that as it is. Some couscous, some rice with some mixed vegetables in, stuff it and then bake it in the oven. And the key with cooking squid is, can you see how it's grey and see-through? As soon as that turns to like a whitey pinkish colour, that's it perfectly cooked. Don't panic, think I'll give it another 30 seconds. That's when it's chewy, that's when it's tough. Trust yourself and it is beautiful. It's not going to make you ill if you eat it a little bit under or under anything and even raw, that is absolutely delicious. So, I know it's a tube like that or I'm actually going to slice it into some rings. So, just nip that little end piece off. And we're just going to go into some nice rings and normally about one centimetre thick just some nice slices like that we're cooking with those so if you're doing pastas paellas risottos cook it completely and then take it off and let the residual heat cook the squid right at the very end just two to three minutes put it in stir it through keep stirring it and the colour will change until that's it that's your heat you've got your wings so again i like to square them off so they're nice and neat yeah. and we've got the skin on the top of them so just use your knife again to just gently scrape that away both sides get quite a lot and that is the only small pile of waste there and you've got lots of squid. Um, good availability normally from the end of August right the way through until sort of March and then in the warmer months of the year the landings actually drop. So when you want squid which is in the summer you can't really get as much from Scotland so through the winter period is where you can get more. So again don't worry about the prep, we can do the prep for you or if you happen to have a look at this video and have a go. All the tools and the information is there that you need.